Good morning, YouTubers. I'm coming to you from my lovely bedroom here. I had one of my uh, thoughts waking up, so I'm going to tell you about it. This is um, a very important message, and I just want to start off by saying, hey, don't hold grudges against people. Okay, let me explain. Yesterday, and I said, Mom came and she got mad at me. I was still laying in bed, like you see right now. And she said some things as to why she thought I was laying in bed, which weren't true. So instead of retaliating, like I normally would do, I just left her alone. I let her talk, and I laid here, and I was quiet. And I didn't say anything. And I had my own thoughts, well, I'm laying here because of this, or I'm laying here because of that. And I'm one of those people, I don't bother you. But if you come to me and just give me your opinion and assume stuff and then don't give me a chance to say how I feel and walk off, I'm going to get mad. And I take it as disrespect. And I can't stand being disrespected or misunderstood. And I hate when people assume things. Sometimes people just come to you, see you doing something and assume this or that, like, if okay, you can just come ask me a question. Don't assume. I, I hate that. I just want to punch you in the face. You see me laying here, ask me why I'm laying here. Don't just assume I'm laying here because of this or that. That's not always the case. Anyway, moving on. I, uh, I had my alarm set this morning. I cut it off, went back to sleep. Went back to sleep. So I'm laying here just, you know, just gone. And the phone rings. And I look, and it's mom. And I was like, oh, she's just calling Jack, because she calls and checks if I'm still here or whatever. So I answered the phone. And needless to say, her voice was very different. Like, she sounded tired and, I don't know, sickly. So I said, Mom, you all right? And she told me she was at work working and she got sick. I mean sick like how she used to get in high school with cramp sick. And her voice was, ooh, I said, Mama, are you all right? So I was just thinking she was going to sit for a minute and then come back home. So here I am listening, listening to her. And I got all my feelings from yesterday. And I'm feeling for her. And then I'm thinking, like, you are, you up here mad through my mom. And she, in the very next day, she here going through, like, who do you have to complain about so she misunderstood you? <laughs> People do that every day of your life. Me, personally, I should be used to, you know, being short growing up in America and stuff. Ain't nothing new. My point is, no whole grudges. You never know. You can be mad at somebody for, I don't know, stealing your candy bar. And next day you find out they die, you know, something crazy. But just my case, my mom, she's fine. You know, Lord on her side, you know. I worried about it. I called her, I said, Mom, I said, I have to come get you. She was like, no, I'm good. I said, all right, now. I said, let me know. I want you driving home and stuff. Oh, she's confident. So my point is, don't hold grudges. When you think about it and you look on it, it's really stupid and dumb and just... And you could be doing something else enjoying your life. So yeah, that's my point for today. Don't hold grudges. I'll see you all another time.